Hey everyone, it's Brian, and this is a really quick video uh, hint of the week. So I had a parent that's been e emailing me, and uh, uh, finally she contacted me through the office telling me that she hadn't heard from me, and I was quite concerned because I like to respond to parent emails right away. Well, it turns out her email had gone to my junk folder. Uh, not to the Barracuda spam folder that is run through the ISD online, but through Outlook's own junk mail process. So I thought I'd just show you how to find these in case you ever found something that um, was supposed to come and you didn't find. So on the left-hand side here, where I keep my folders, I'm going to scroll down all the way to the bottom. And all the way in the bottom here, is the junk email. There are 61 emails in there. Uh, and I'm going to scroll down looking for her particular email. It's right here. And I want to do a couple things. I want to deliver it to myself, but I also want to make sure she doesn't get stuck in my email again in the junk folder. So I'm going to right click, right click on my mouse. And down below, I'm going to look for junk. And I'm going to click Never Block Sender. It will bring up this little box. And it says, the sender of the selected message has been added to your safe senders list. So now when she sends one again, it won't get blocked. Um, I have to go look at my settings because this is a Ferris email. Ferris.edu. And I don't know why that would get blocked, but it did. So now I want to send it to myself so it's in the inbox. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to junk and I'm going to click not junk. Always trust email from her. You bet. And it's gone. You see there's four of them here that she sent. I go junk, not junk. So I'll always trust her. Junk, not junk. So check your junk folder every so often. You never know what will get stuck there. Hope that helps. Thanks.